the Honolulu Star Bulletin newspaper in August 1961 declares Mr. and Mrs. Barack H. Obama have given birth to a son. A simple birth announcement that has become part of a complex web of conspiracy theories with Just one question clear. looming above all others. I was born in Hawaii. Was President Obama really born in the United States? The answer, yes. Have you seen Barack Obama's original birth certificate? Yes. Dr. Chiyome Fakino is the former director of the Hawaii Department of Health and a devoted Republican. Until now, she had not talked on camera about this topic. As a Republican member of the last Republican governor of Hawaii, Linda Lingle's cabinet, do you have any doubt? Absolutely born here in the state of Hawaii. But Dr. Fakino says even if she hadn't seen the original... What did it tell you? Was it authentic? Was he born here in the state of Hawaii? It was absolutely authentic. He was absolutely born here in the state of Hawaii. But Dr. Fakino says even if she hadn't seen the original certificate, this document, the president's computer-generated certificate, which was made public three years ago, had already proven he was born in Hawaii. There's quite a bit of irony over this original birth certificate debate. And that is, the original documents are no longer even certified by the state. The health department says President Obama or any other Hawaiian could still go through the process of getting one. But either way, they're no longer supposed to be used for official purposes. Only the computer-generated ones will do. Getting we wanted to see what you get when you ask for your Hawaii birth certificate. Next door, birth, death, marriage, birth for us. Okay. We met 49-year-old Stig Vitalik. Get a birth certificate for Stig. We asked Stig because we also saw his birth announcement in the Honolulu newspaper. In the same article, four names down, another newborn, born 13 hours earlier. Barack Obama. And do you give him his original certificate or the electronic copy? It's a computerized birth certificate. So this is Stig's certificate of live birth. It's the same form Barack Obama has, the very same form every Hawaiian now gets when they request their birth certificate. It has his name on it, his birth date, August 5th, 1961, the day after the president. It says it was filed August 8th, 1961. This is a raised seal to show us authenticity. And on the bottom, perhaps the most important line, this copy serves as prima facie evidence of the fact of birth in any court proceeding. Nobody we talk to doubts Stig's citizenship. But a CNN poll shows 25% of Americans doubt President Obama's. The announcement in the paper is a fake, planted by his family or someone else who wanted to trick the world into believing the future president was born in the U.S. Dan Nicasso is a longtime newspaper reporter in Honolulu. There are a number of people who believe that Barack Obama wasn't born in the United States, that his mother or grandmother called the newspaper and gave false information that he was born in the United States. Right. Is it possible I could have gotten in the newspaper? Like no, that's not possible. Under the, under the system that existed back then, there was no avenue for people to submit information that way. So how did the information get in the paper? The information came directly from the State Department of Health. We confirmed that fact with the Health Department, too. All birth announcements printed in the paper came directly from the birth records of the hospital. So why won't President Obama just release a copy of his original birth certificate? Well, there are some who say he won't do it because the word Muslim is on it. But we've taken a look at the original vault birth certificate of another man. And while there are extra spaces on it for hospital and for ages of the parents and for the occupation of the father, there is no space whatsoever for religion. And the former director of the health department who has seen Barack Obama's original birth certificate confirms there is no mention whatsoever of religion. The White House says in part no matter what Barack Obama says or does, there are many doubters who will still doubt. Barack Obama not only has the same proof of birth as millions of other Hawaiians, he also has the current Hawaii governor's memories of him as a baby.